War has broken out around the globe. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, and some companies are making unimaginable profits. Imagine being awarded a contract worth over $400 billion. Sounds unreal, right? But for one company, this was just another day in the office. Lockheed Martin, the titan of the defense industry, secured the largest defense contract in history, the F-35 Lightning Program. This single contract alone is valued at over $400 billion and is expected to exceed $1 trillion over its lifetime. In today's video, we'll uncover how companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon make billions from war, the impact on their stock performance, and the ethical dilemmas surrounding these profits. Firstly, we will take a quick look at some of the global conflicts right now that are making these companies billions of dollars. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia in 2022 has dramatically altered the geopolitical landscape. This conflict has led to a massive increase in defense spending across Europe and beyond. NATO countries, responding to the threat posed by Russia, have ramped up their military budgets, purchasing advanced weaponry and defense systems. The U.S. has been a major supplier, providing Ukraine with billions of dollars in military aid, including advanced missile systems, drones, and artillery. Companies like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon have seen significant increases in orders for their defense products, directly benefiting from the heightened tensions. In the Middle East, the long-standing tensions between Israel and Iran continue to escalate. Iran's nuclear ambitions and its support for militant groups like Hezbollah and Hamas have kept the region in a state of perpetual alert. Israel, in response, has invested heavily in advanced defense systems such as the Iron Dome, developed in part by Raytheon. The potential for conflict has driven regional powers to seek the latest in defense technology, leading to lucrative contracts for American defense companies. These companies provide not only the technology, but also the training and maintenance required to sustain these advanced systems. Beyond these hotspots, several other regions are experiencing conflicts that contribute to global instability. In Asia, the South China Sea remains a contentious area with China asserting its dominance, leading to rising tensions with neighboring countries and the United States. The potential for conflict over Taiwan has also led to increased military spending in the region, benefiting companies like Boeing. In Africa, ongoing smaller-scale conflicts in countries like Ethiopia, Mali, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo continue to destabilize the region. While these conflicts do not generate the same level of defense spending as those in Europe or the Middle East, they still contribute to a global demand for military equipment and support services. Geopolitical instability is a significant driver of defense spending globally. The conflicts in Ukraine, tensions in the Middle East, and various regional disputes are pushing nations to invest heavily in their military capabilities. This, in turn, provides substantial opportunities for American defense companies, which continue to profit from the world's precarious security situation. As long as these tensions persist, the demand for advanced defense technology will remain strong, ensuring that companies in this sector continue to thrive. Now we will look at how Lockheed Martin have benefited from recent geopolitical instability. Numerous European countries, including Poland, Germany, and Finland, have accelerated their acquisition of Lockheed Martin's F-35 fighter jets. These multi-role combat aircraft are essential for modern air forces, providing stealth, advanced sensors, and interoperability with NATO forces. The F-35 program is a major revenue driver for Lockheed Martin, contributing approximately 30% of the company's total annual revenue. For instance, in 2022, Lockheed Martin reported total revenues of $67 billion, with the F-35 program contributing around $17 billion. Recent contract awards for the F-35 program have been substantial. In 2023, Lockheed Martin secured a $6.6 .6 billion contract for the production and delivery of 78 F-35 aircraft for the U.S. services and international partners. Lockheed Martin's backlog for the F-35 program remains robust, with orders and commitments extending well into the next decade. 
The backlog includes orders for over 500 aircraft, ensuring a steady stream of revenue in the coming years. This recent article shows Greece is looking to become the 19th nation to acquire this aircraft. With Mike Schmidt saying the F-35 will provide exceptional capability, build interoperability, and strengthen effectiveness for NATO. The F-35 program supports over 254,000 jobs across 45 states in the U.S. and contributes significantly to the national economy. The program involves a wide range of suppliers and subcontractors, spreading economic benefits across the defense industrial base. The stock market has responded favorably to Lockheed Martin's robust performance, driven by increased global demand for defense products amid geopolitical instability. Lockheed Martin consistently exceeds market expectations in its quarterly earnings reports. For example, in quarter 4, 2023, the company reported earnings per share of $8, compared to the expected $7.55. This consistent outperformance reassures investors about the company's operational efficiency and financial health. The company has demonstrated impressive year-over-year -year growth. In the fiscal year 2023, reporting a revenue increase of 8% over the previous year, reaching $70 billion, compared to $64.8 billion in 2022. This growth is primarily driven by increased defense spending globally and higher demand for its advanced military products. For investors, Lockheed Martin serves as a hedge against geopolitical risks. As tensions rise globally, the demand for advanced defense capabilities grows, directly benefiting the company and, by extension, its shareholders. Next, we will look at Boeing, the heightened tensions resulting from the Russia-Ukraine conflict and ongoing Israel-Iran issues have led to increased demand for UAVs and drone technology as these conflicts underscore the importance of surveillance and precision strikes. Boeing's MQ-25 Stingray and other UAVs have gained traction among U.S. and Allied forces for their advanced capabilities. The MQ-25 Stingray is an unmanned aerial refueling aircraft developed by Boeing for the U.S. Navy. It is designed to extend the operational range of carrier-based aircraft, enhancing the Navy's capabilities in contested environments. At full capacity, it can deliver up to 15,000 pounds of fuel to carrier-based aircraft, significantly extending their operational range. In 2018, Boeing was awarded an $805 million contract to develop the MQ-25. This contract covered the design, development, and delivery of four MQ-25 aircraft. In 2020, the U.S. Navy exercised options for three additional aircrafts, bringing the total order to seven. This contract modification was valued at approximately $84.7 million. The Navy plans to procure over 70 MQ-25 aircraft, with the total program cost expected to exceed $13 billion. Full-scale production is anticipated to begin around 2025, but could be pushed forward if tensions in the Middle East get worse. In 2023, Boeing's defense, space, and security segment reported impressive revenues of $26 billion, marking a notable increase from $23 billion in 2022. This growth is driven by significant contract wins and increased demand for their defense products. The robust performance of this segment has been a cornerstone of Boeing's financial stability, especially critical given the challenges faced by its commercial aviation sector. The company's stock responded favorably, appreciating by 15% in 2023. This rise is attributed to the robust performance and future growth prospects in its defense business. Investors are particularly reassured by Boeing's substantial order backlog, which provides visibility into future revenues and earnings. In 2024, Boeing's share price has struggled, experiencing a significant decline of approximately 27% year-to-date. This downturn reflects substantial challenges facing the company, particularly in its commercial aviation segment, which have undermined investor confidence. Boeing faces ongoing regulatory scrutiny and legal challenges related to past safety incidents and compliance issues.
These challenges not only incur legal costs, but also damage the company's reputation, adding another layer of complexity to its recovery efforts. Now we will look at Raytheon Technologies, who have emerged as a major beneficiary of the surge in global defense spending, ignited by the Russia-Ukraine conflict and escalating tensions between Israel and Iran. As geopolitical conflicts intensify, the demand for advanced defense systems has skyrocketed, positioning Raytheon at the forefront of this critical industry shift. The heightened threat from ballistic and cruise missiles has led many countries to invest in Raytheon's Patriot missile defense systems. Countries such as Poland, Germany, and Saudi Arabia have either purchased or upgraded their existing Patriot systems in response to perceived threats from Russia and regional instabilities. Raytheon has secured several significant contracts amid the ongoing conflicts. For instance, in 2023, the company was awarded a $2 billion contract to provide Patriot missile systems to Poland. The international market has been crucial for Raytheon's growth. Sales to Middle Eastern countries, particularly Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, have increased significantly. These nations have invested heavily in Raytheon's advanced defense technologies to counter regional threats and enhance their military capabilities. Raytheon has been actively developing hypersonic weapons, which are seen as the next frontier in missile technology. These weapons can travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, making them difficult to detect and intercept. The development of such advanced systems positions Raytheon for future growth as nations seek cutting-edge technologies to enhance their defense. The company has also focused on enhancing its cybersecurity and electronic warfare capabilities. These technologies are critical in modern warfare, where information dominance and electronic countermeasures play a pivotal role. Raytheon's advancements in this field have attracted interest from defense ministries worldwide. Raytheon's stock has responded positively to the heightened defense spending. In the last 12 months, the company's stock appreciated by 32%, driven by strong financial performance and a robust order backlog. Investors view Raytheon as a stable and growth-oriented investment, particularly during times of geopolitical instability. As global tensions escalate and flashpoints multiply, the world teeters on the brink of a new era of conflict. The Russia-Ukraine war and the ever-present threat of escalation in the Middle East between Israel and Iran are just the beginning. Each new skirmish, every rising tension, brings us one step closer to the unimaginable, a potential global war. In this precarious landscape, defense contractors like Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and Boeing stand to gain immensely. Perpetual war fuels their profits, as nations scramble to arm themselves with the latest in military technology. The ceaseless demand for missiles, drones, and advanced defense systems keeps their order books full and their shareholders happy. But as these companies thrive, the human cost is often overlooked. The profits of a few come at the expense of many, as lives are lost and societies are destabilized. The shadow of perpetual war looms large, casting a dark pall over our future. In the end, we must ask ourselves, at what cost do we allow these profits to be made? As we stand on the precipice of potential global conflict, the stakes have never been higher. The choices we make now will shape the world for generations to come.